I will demonstrate here how to uh, analyze a system of nonlinear equations um, with the main uh, purpose of drawing a, um, a uh, phase portrait of the system. So we'll want to see how uh, the phase portrait of the system looks, y versus x. We're only going to consider uh, x, y um, positive, so in this first quadrant here. OK, so the system is x dot equals x times 3 minus x minus 2y, and y dot equals y times 2 minus x minus y. This is a nonlinear system has an x squared, xy term, and a xy, a y squared term here. So coupled nonlinear system. So the first step is to find the uh, fixed points of this system. The fixed points are where an x dot and y dot is equal to 0. So um, what are the fixed points? Well, x and y can both be 0. So 0, 0 is a fixed point, right? So these are the fixed points x star, y star. So 0, 0 is a fixed point. Um, x can be 0. So this x dot is 0. Then if x is 0 and y is not 0, then 2 minus y has to be 0, or y is 2. So that's a fixed point. Um, y can be 0. So the second equation, y dot is 0. If y is 0 and x is not 0, then x should be 3. So that's the third fixed point. And then both x and y can be non-zero. So if both x and y are non-zero, then we can divide through by x, set the right-hand side 0, divide through by x, divide through by y. So we must have x plus 2y should be equal to 3. Right, so x plus 2y should be equal to 3. And x plus y should be equal to 2. x plus y equal to 2. So these, this is the system of equations that will be satisfied uh, for a fixed point if x and y are non-zero. So let's see, we can subtract. So we get y equal to 1. And then x plus y equals 2, so x equals 1. So this fourth fixed point then is 1, 1. Okay? So we have these three fixed points, these four fixed points. Okay. The second step to analyze the system of nonlinear equa equations is to determine the uh, linear stability of these uh, fixed points. Okay? So how do we do that? Well, we need to um, find the Jacobian matrix. So the Jacobian matrix, this is, uh, say this one is f of x, y, the first equation, and the second equation is g of x, y. The Jacobian matrix is the partial of f with respect to x, the partial of f with respect to y, the partial of g with respect to x, and the partial of g with respect to y. So we need to take these uh, partial derivatives. So the partial of f with respect to x gives us a 3 minus the derivative of x squared. So 3x, the derivative of 3x is 3 minus 2x minus 2y. 3 minus 2x minus 2y in the first component. The um, Let me get rid of this. The second component, the um, derivative of f with respect to y, the derivative of 3x is 0, the derivative of x squared is 0. So 
derivative of minus 2yx is minus 2x. Then the partial of g with respect to x is going to be just the minus y. And the partial of g with respect to y will give us a 2 minus x minus 2y. 2 minus x derivative of minus y squared is minus 2y. OK. So that's the Jacobian matrix. So then uh, we calculate the eigenvalues uh, of, <coughs> of the Jacobian ma matrix at these four fixed points. So we start with uh, 0, 0. So that Jacobian matrix, I'll put star here because it's evaluated at the fixed point, 0, 0. That Jacobian matrix then will be 3, 0, 0, 2. So the eigenvalues here are 3 and 2. If the eigenvalue is positive, if at least one eigenvalue has a positive real part, then the fixed point 0, 0 here, we're doing uh, 0, 0, sorry. The uh, fixed point 0, 0 will be unstable. So this is unstable. OK? Because uh, both eigenvalues are, in fact, uh, positive. OK, so now the next fixed point, 0, 2. Uh, what is uh, uh, j here? At 0, 2, x equals 0, y equals 2. So 3 minus 4 is minus 1. Uh, x equals 0, so this is 0. y equals 2, minus 2. And x equals uh, 0, y equal to 2. 2 minus, two minus uh, 4 is uh, minus 2. Okay, so this is a lower triangular matrix, so the eigenvalues here are minus 1 and minus 2. Uh, both eigenvalues are negative, so this fixed point is stable. Okay. Then the uh, next fixed point, 3, 0. <coughs> 3, 0. The Jacobian is x equals 3, y equals 0. 3 minus 6 is minus 3. Uh, x equals 3 minus 6. y is 0. This is 0. 2 minus 3 minus 0 minus 1. This is a upper triangular matrix, so the eigenvalues are, again, just the diag diagonal elements, minus 3 and minus 1. Both are negative, so then this fixed point also is stable. OK, so that's the uh, first three fixed points that lie on the axis, right? And the last fixed point is 1, 1. So we can compute 1, 1 here. So what is the uh, Jacobian matrix here? So x equals 1, y equals 1. So we have 3 minus 2 minus 2, 3 minus 4, so minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 2. And uh, the second row is minus 1, 2 minus 1, minus 2, minus 1. So minus 1 and minus 1. Okay, 
So the eigenvalues satisfy lambda squared minus the trace of this matrix, which is minus 1 plus minus 1 is minus 2. So minus minus 2 is plus 2 times lambda, plus the determinant of this matrix, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, minus 2 minus 1 equals 0. Uh, the eigenvalues here, then there are two of them, lambda plus or minus, so negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, 4 minus 4ac plus 4 over 2a. The square root of 8 is um, uh, Four times square root of four, square root of four times two, so the two factors. So this is minus one, plus or minus square root of two. <clears throat> so here, lambda plus is minus one plus root two. That's positive, and lambda minus is minus one minus root two. This is negative. So one of the eigenvalues for this 1, 1 fixed point is positive, which means that this fixed point is unstable. Okay. So we have four fixed points. Um, let me draw them here. So we have uh, y and x. We have uh, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. One of the fixed points is the origin, and that one's unstable. So I put that there. Uh, the other fixed points, uh, 0, 2, and 3, 0, are stable. So 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, this one is stable. 0, 2 is stable. So these are two stable fixed points. And then 1, 1 is an unstable fixed point. OK, so we have these four fixed points. So how does the solution behave? The key here is to compute the um, this one has one positive and one negative eigenvalue. So if we compute the eigenvectors of uh, this fixed point, we'll get the directions at which the uh, solutions go in and the solutions run out. So if we have the, um, the Jacobian at this fixed point, right? so we're considering uh, 1, 1. The Jacobian at the 1, 1 fixed point was minus 1, minus 2, minus 1, minus 1. Right? And the eigenvalues lambda uh, plus was uh, 1 plus root 2. And lambda minus was 1 minus root 2. And what are the eigenvectors that then? So to determine uh, the eigenvector with, for lambda plus, let's call that v plus, we uh, look at <coughs> j star minus lambda plus i times v plus equal to 0. And we can read off the uh, first column. So minus 1, um, sorry, this 1 is m negative here. The eigenvalues were negative. Minus 1 plus root 2 and minus 1 minus root 2. Okay. So then this equation becomes minus 1, minus minus 1 is 0, minus root 2. So minus root 2 
the first component here, v plus first component, um, minus 2 v plus second component equals 0. So v plus 2 is equal to minus root 2 over 2 v plus 1. So the eigenvector here would be 1 and then um, minus root 2 over 2. Okay. Uh, similarly, for v minus, this one would be 1 and just change the sign of root 2, so plus root 2 over 2. Right, v minus was, this was the, uh, lambda plus was the unstable, and this was the stable uh, axis. Okay? So going back to here, we have the, um, the lambda plus is the unstable, has the negative slope, uh, slightly uh, less than 1, so looking like this way. And the positive 1 is this one. So lambda plus is going out, and lambda minus is going in. Okay? So what you see here is you have kind of this division here. So if we can kind of sketch what's happening is that stuff on this side is going to be coming out and going in here. And stuff on this side is going to be coming out and going in here. OK? And in fact, if you draw the phase space diagram, this is what it looks like. Here's the unstable, stable, stable, and this is the key unstable fixed point. So that everything on this lower curve, everything down here is going to be um, going to this fixed point. And everything over here is going to be headed towards this fixed point. OK? So I hope that gives you an idea how one can at least qualitatively sketch this graph and then use computer uh, software to get a quantitative sketch.